Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I thought I'd talk about going pro. I get a lot of questions about it. Woody, are you glad you did this? And uh, I rarely answer it, so it's been a while. I think it's been you know six months or eight months since I've done any kind of update on it. And I thought I'd let you know like what I think so far. So um, here's the deal. Going pro is my term for doing YouTube full-time. Uh, before that, it was kind of a hobby, even though it was a, you know, a hobby that was making money. It was just a hobby. And when I decided to you know, make my living off of YouTube, I decided you know, that to me was going pro. It's not the same thing as being an MLG gamer, just a different sort of pro in the same high-level industry. And uh, by and large, I love it. Like, it's amazing. It's a life that I feel privileged to be able to lead. It's it's weird that, like, you know, you guys chose me to be one of the few that gets to do this. I I know me. I, I've, I've known me forever. <laughs> and uh, I know that I'm just sort of a regular person. But, you know, I get to live this irregular life. And for that, I am, you know, incredibly grateful. Like, I... I, I I don't want to, this sounds like I'm butt kissing here, but like I, I've got some of the best subs on YouTube. Like it, I, 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 other people have more subs, other people have less subs, but I feel like I have a relationship with my subs that not everybody enjoys, right? Like I, you know, it, it's like you guys know me and like I, I know at least some of you guys and, and you get to play with you and stuff. And that's, that's not the kind of like, I don't know, 1v1 that, that other YouTubers get. So, uh, you know, that's, that's something that I really like. Anyway, back on topic. Um, how's life as a pro YouTuber? It's pretty cool. You know, it, it's, <laughs> I, I am a little happy to live it. Uh, for those that you don't know, I, before I did YouTube full time, I was a senior software architect. Now that was my job. It's pretty much a computer programmer that's been promoted a couple of times. And um, I'm educated. I, I've got two college degrees. It's like what an American would call a university degree. And I have one master's degree, which is what you, like between a college and a, and a doctorate. Um, the master's degree is in engineering with a focus on comp sci. I, uh, whatever. My nerd cred is strong. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, so I, I was a senior software architect for Fortune 500 company, Cisco. And it was a good job in a lot of ways. Like Cisco treats me well. They... Um, who treated me well. Uh, my, my boss was a great, great guy. Uh, there were aspects of it that sucked, though. Like, um, I was the guy that made solutions, right? That's what an architect does. He, he looks at a business problem and defines some sort of you know, fix for it. And every fix has its pros and cons, every one of them, right? You know, you can either do things in a really architecturally pure way, but it's expensive and it's long to implement, or you can do things that are kind of quick and dirty, and, you know, they're, they're cheap and fast and they work, but over the long term, they might be more difficult to maintain or like, you know, whatever. Everything has its pros and cons. And it would seem like there were people on my projects whose job was just to fuss at, you know, my solutions. And that made me mad. <laughs> uh, it was like, you know, like, you come to work every day thinking that you're going to point out the counter argument to what I do, but you don't provide any solutions. You just say like, oh, well, here's the thing about that. Yeah, I know the thing about that, motherfucker. It's, you know, <laughs> like, come on. It's, uh, it's you know like it, it, everything has pros and cons. You tell me what you want, and uh, like my my wife described it as this. She was talking to a, a coworker of mine, and they said, "Yep, it's the bring me a rock." You know, hey Woody, go bring me a rock. And then you, know, you bring back a rock and they say, nope, this isn't the one I wanted. Go bring me another rock. And that just continues forever until they, you know, whatever, like find the, the rock that makes them happy without ever defining what they wanted. And, and uh, you know, the, the trick to that, of course, is like getting the definition up front and having it, you know, go. But even that is, uh, you know, has its flaws. Whatever. Cisco was a good job. It was what you get when you work in the IT department of a giant company. Uh, you know, a little bit of politics, a little bit of tech stuff, a little bit of everything. And um, that was that. So at the same time I'm living that life, predators think I'm sexy, FPS Russia sent me a text message. And it had a picture. It had a picture of his pickup truck filled with watermelons and explosives and like ammunition. And he's like off to work. And I'm like, damn, your work is so much better than mine. You know, the Cisco thing. Like, I, I wish I was that. So, um... That, you know, was, was like my reality. And um, uh, I'm looking around and like I sometimes think of my YouTube channel 
is a little bit like Hugh Jackman, right? You know, so so Hugh Jackman, look at his Hollywood career. You know, just think about it. Is it Tom Cruise's, right? Is it the biggest, baddest guy in Hollywood at the moment? Whoever that is, I don't know. Call it Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Cruise. But, like, you know, pick your number one actor on the planet. Is it him? No. My YouTube channel is not at the very, very top. But it's a good, solid channel that a lot of other people, you know, like, do you wish you had Hugh Jackman's acting career? Like, dude, he's the guy that did Wolverine amongst a, amongst a bunch of other movies. And... Uh, you know, he's got himself a, a, a good career going on there. Most actors wish they were Hugh Jackman. And that, that's how I think of my YouTube channel. Like, you know, is it Tom Cruise? No, but it's, it's doing great. You know, I'm really happy with how things are. And, uh, and my subs are great. Did I talk about that already? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I enjoy the closest with my subs that not everybody does. But somehow that's uncomfortable for me to talk about. I don't know why. I talk about a lot on this channel, but that's, <laughs> that's weird. But um, I'm just grateful i don't know life changing but um uh, b back on topic of the whole pro thing the thing that i love the most is the freedom of schedule like that turn my life around the, the notion that you know if machine number calls and says hey what do you want to go to vidcon and speak at a panel i can say yes I do want that. That would be incredible, you know. Or, or FPS Russia calls and says, "Hey, Woody, you know, I've got a sailboat in Florida. Do you want to go?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, that would be amazing. And uh, it's just like uh, I have a kind of freedom that you know you don't get when you're working a nine to five somewhere, and that is huge. Like that, that's a really big deal. Uh, another thing, and and you know, Wings of Redemption has talked about this a lot. He's like, you know, this. I don't think I'm letting anything out, but because he's he's put his name on his channel since the first day. But he says, you know, like Jordy Jordan's just a regular guy. Like Jordy Jordan's kind of boring, you know. It, people know him. He, you know, he's the guy. Whatever doesn't cause any trouble and does his thing. But Wings of Redemption's a hot shot. You know, Wings of Redemption's kind of a big deal. You know, he says something and hundreds of thousands of people listen. And like to some extent, like I feel that too. That to me is something that I feel like a a little bit privileged to be a part of. And you know, I don't know. It, until you like have a lot of people listening to what you have to say, it's 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 a little bit addicting. It's a little bit addicting. I, I know like Extra says Twitter is really addicting. And you know, that's that's his like you know thing whereas mine is really about YouTube channel. It it, it to put up a video and, and have people listen is a, a rare privilege and that's I don't know. That's it's 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 a really cool way to live a life. On the other hand, yeah, it is a bit of a job too, right? Like people want to say like, oh my gosh, you know, you Every video needs to be made purely out of passion, etc. And, and I would argue, like, look, if you're going to do this as a job, then you need to treat it a bit like a job. You know, you, you need to be reliable with your uploads. If I made a video every two weeks and, and then those videos were made excuses for the fact that it's been two weeks since I uploaded and then I promised to do better and then two weeks later I, you know, made the same <laughs> excuse video, then you'd be mad at me, right? People don't like that. I've seen channels like that. Oh, I promise this is the last time I'll stop working. No. If you want to do YouTube for a living, then you've got to have a work ethic. That's that's a big deal. And if you look at the people who do this all the time, right? Like um, I was looking at Syndicate's videos just recently. And um, on, on VidStats, it shows your most recent 50 videos. He's put up 50 videos since like July 23rd or July 26th, something like that. I promise you that doesn't happen without a tremendous amount of effort. You know, that's that's the way that it goes. If you're, um, and it's not measured in amount of videos, but that was just one thing that, that kind of like demonstrates to me, he is working hard at this thing. Um, if you want to do this professionally, then you have to work hard at it. You don't just do it whenever the, you know, I feel like it strike you. That's, uh, that's actually not going to work out the way you want. But me, I'm kind of wired for that. Like, Shay Carl uploaded a video every day for a year. And it was this big thing, like, oh my god, daily vlog, share his life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it hadn't been done. But now, I'm at like 700 videos, <laughs> or 700 days in a row of having a video uploaded. I upload every day. And I'm just kind of wired for that. Like, I, I like to keep active. It's the, it's the way that I operate. And it, if I'm not doing something, moving about, like making a thing happen, then I... 
not comfortable in my own skin. Like I kind of like to go and create and uh, whatever, whatever it is that I'm into, whether it be cars or YouTube or games or whatever. Like I just want to, you know, push it forward and, and make it more and better. And uh, that's that's what I do with my life all the time. And like in the YouTube world, it just kind of syncs up well. You know, people like daily videos. I do my thing. Um, anyway, thanks for letting this be my life. I appreciate it. All right. If you're still here, perhaps I've earned your like. Two videos you may have missed. Uh, the left one is Wife Wednesday, where I do a dual com with her. And the right one is a free game follow-up. It's a you know, free-to-play game that you guys can check out and get early. Oh, I found out you, you, you do get it early. It does come out even before Call of Duty. So uh, I'll have to tell you guys about that later. Anyway, two vids you might like. Check them out. Have a good day.